In this lecture, we will calculate the Fourier transform of complex exponential signal e power j omega naught t. So our time domain signal xt is equal to e power j omega naught t and we are interested in calculating its Fourier transform x omega and we have seen the waveform of complex exponential signal and from that waveform it is clear that it will have infinite energy content and therefore it is not an absolutely integrable signal. This implies we cannot use the formula Fourier transform to calculate x omega. So let's see how we can calculate the Fourier transform of e power j omega naught t. For this I will consider one Fourier transform and let's call it x omega dash and it is equal to delta omega minus omega naught and from here we will use the formula of inverse Fourier transform to obtain the time domain signal of this Fourier transform x t dash and we know from the formula of inverse Fourier transform x t dash is equal to 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity Fourier transform x omega dash multiplied to e power j omega t d omega. We know x omega dash so x t dash is equal to 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity delta omega minus omega naught delta omega minus omega naught multiplied to e power j omega t d omega and from the property of impulse signal this omega here will be replaced by omega naught so in the next step we have 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity delta omega minus omega naught multiplied to e power j omega naught t. Omega naught is a constant so e power j omega naught t is a constant and therefore we will take it out of integration. So we have e power j omega naught t divided by 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity delta omega minus omega naught d omega. In this case we are integrating with respect to omega therefore e power j omega naught t is a constant because omega naught is constant and t is also constant with respect to omega. So we are left with this integration and the result of this integration is very easy to understand. We are having one unit impulse. We are having the unit impulse signal delta omega minus omega naught. So we are having unit impulse at omega naught. Let's say this frequency here is equal to omega naught. So when omega is equal to omega naught, we are having unit impulse. Therefore, the area is equal to 1. And we are integrating from minus infinity to infinity. We are integrating from minus infinity to infinity and therefore this particular frequency omega naught is included and as it is included the overall result of integration is going to be 1 because the total area from minus infinity to infinity is equal to 1 only because delta omega minus omega naught is equal to 0 at other frequencies. Therefore we will have time domain signal xt dash equal to e power j omega naught t over 2 pi multiplied to 1. So this is the time domain signal and this time domain signal is having the Fourier transform delta omega minus omega naught. So let's write down the final result e power j omega naught t over 2 pi is having the Fourier transform delta omega minus omega naught and we are interested in finding out the Fourier transform of e power j omega naught t. So we will multiply 2 pi to this time domain signal. This 2 pi and 2 pi will cancel out and we are having the time domain signal e power j omega naught t. But from the linearity property as we are multiplying 2 pi to the time domain signal 2 pi is also multiplied to the Fourier transform. So finally we are having finally we are having time domain signal e power j omega naught t and its Fourier transform 2 pi multiplied to delta omega minus omega naught.
So 2 pi delta omega minus omega naught is the Fourier transform of complex exponential signal e power j omega naught t. This Fourier transform is important because we will use it while obtaining the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t and sin omega naught t. So this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section.